the state television company Western Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. On the website of the state television of Western Armenia, there is already a news section. An inspiring story about the days of blockade, Ani Haidapetian. Has Russia recognized the genocide committed against Armenians? Which villages does Baku demand? We are obliged to oppose aggression and support Armenian, Konstantinos Kombos. At the age of 14, he found out that he was Armenian. Cultural Genocide The state television of Western Armenia is pleased to inform its viewers that there is already a new section on westernarmeniantv.com with the title Armenian Champa. Hi Champa is the first foremost on a martial art on the basis of which the military patriotic non-governmental organization Har Champa was created, the goal of which is to create a more struggling population in Western Armenia. The training of volunteers will help to create a more powerful state and become a real reserve army. The state television of Western Armenia will soon present Hai Jampa and its history in more details. An inspiring story about the days of the blockade, Ani Hayapetian. Ani Hayapetian did not quit her job as a master of ceremonies for children's parties even during the blockade. In the bombed and endangered city, her family found the strength not only to survive but also to share their energy and warmth with their little countrymen. During the celebration of the last days, there was not even a feast, but the children had waited a year for their birthday and it was necessary to do everything to make them happy. Born in Gyumri, but having spent her entire conscious life in Artsakh, Ani chose her profession since childhood. She and her husband took on the mission of entertaining children and created a family organization. The main goal was to reach every community of Artsakh to be everywhere where they were needed. During the days of the blockade, they would walk from the village to the city in order to cheer up the birthday celebrated without hospitality, at least with the presence of a cartoon character. The days of forced displacement were full of difficulties. Has Russia recognized the genocide committed against Armenians? Western Armenia TV continues to study Armenian-Russian relations and Russians' position on the gen genocide against Armenians. In fact, the issue of Armenians did not exist in Russia's imperial interest at all. Neither empire cared at all about the fate of native nations, whether they would have a country or not, whether they would come out from under the yoke or not, whether they would be massacred or not. It was the same during the First World War, although the empire said they plans to divide the world under the name of saving the native nations. But like France and Greek, Britain, Russia was not interested at all in the fate of small nations. Just like now, Western power countries are putting human rights in the middle in order to take over the resources of countries that are not under their control. But there are always intellectuals among the indigenous people who believe in the promises of empires and unwittingly make their people a lot a tokel in their hands and when they find out that they were not only saved but also used and left defenseless. After the Battle of Sarigamish in January 1915, when the Turkish army was defeated, the Russians did not move forward was also explained by the fact that it was a terribly cold winter and the cold also played a role in the defeat of the Turks. Many Turks soldiers were killed due to frostbite and the Russians expected the weather would warm up. And the other question remains pending. Later, when the Armenian self-defense forces emerged and entered when where the Armenian self-defense forces had defeated the Turkish army, why did they retreat a month later, in July, when there was no danger of Turkish advance, as a result of which when was emptied? And such false retreat was made once again a month later. You can read about Russia's false retreat and its reasons on the website of Western Armenia TV. Which villages does Baku demand? During their meeting, the government of Eastern Armenia talked about the four villages of Tavush region, which Baku primarily demands to be handed over to it. By the way, there was also a discussion on that issue in Munich. During the meeting, they noted that the Granashen is not included in them. All of them are in Tavush region. So it is known which four villages we are talking about. Baganis Ayrum, Nerkin, Voskepar, Kherimli, and Kizili Hajili. Let's remind that a year after the war, the former Prime Minister Rand Bagradzian said that according to his information, Baku is already measuring in the mentioned villages. The government, of course, denied it, but life shows that they were not far from the reality. We are obliged to oppose aggression and support Armenia, Konstantinos Kombos. We are obliged to oppose aggression and support Armenia. 
This was announced by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Cyprus, Konstantinos Gombos, on March 7 in Yerevan at a joint press conference with his Armenian counterpart, Ayalat Mirzoyan. The minister reminded that Cyprus supported Armenian after the deportation of Armenia from Artsakh and sent humanitarian aid to the refugees. On behalf of the Cypriot government, Combos informed about the project of building 10 greenhouses and confirmed that Cyprus is ready to receive the children of Artsakh. Aggression, displacement, all these are unacceptable for the international community. Curriculum and the use of force cannot be an alternative to dialogue. Sovereignty and territorial integrity must be respected in accordance with international law and the United Nations Charter. We are obliged to oppose aggression and support Armenia both politically and materially, said the foreign minister, welcoming all efforts to normalize relations between Yerevan and Baku. We fully support our Armenian partners, emphasized the minister, adding that Cyprus was and remained Armenia's reliable partner. When asked about the actions of the international community in the conditions of the ongoing aggression in Baku, the minister answered that everyone should respect international law. There is no alternative to respect sovereignty and territorial integrity. The minister also reminded that Cyprus has been a victim of aggression and illegal invasion for 50 years. At the age of 40, he realized that he is Armenian. The protest singer Yashar Kurt, who became famous with his song I Am Afraid Mother, started investigation and at the age of 40 he realized that he is Armenian. The, the We Are Sorry campaign has been on our agenda for quite some time. It got to point that the question of whether the former president of Turkey, Abdullah Gul, is Armenian or not, was discussed. Gul said that his family is Muslim and Turkish, but Janan Aretman, one of the deputies of the Republican People's Party, went to the extreme of tribalism and suggested that Gul take a DNA test. These topics are extra heavy problems for us, but this issue also has its hard side, of course, also human standards. The anti-militarist singer Yashar Kurt, whose refrain, I am afraid mother is remembered in his interview with a Taraf weekly newspaper, said that he learned about his Armenian identity at the age of 40. Kurt's grandfather's parents were killed and he was 10 years old at the time. The grandfather then walked to a rise and found shelter with the family. His later generations also had to live by hiding their identity like him. Kurt explains the reason as follows. Because above all it was necessary to survive, let's remind that Yashar Kurt is a Turkish rock singer, born in 1968 in Poland. In 1974 up to 1989, he received elementary secondary education in Istanbul, known for his anti-military stance. After the complete occupation of Artsakh territory in September 2023, in the Baku domain of social networks, one can find dozens of videos that were shot in Artsakh occupied by Baku. Videos showing the demolition of Artsakh National Assembly building were uploaded to the internet on March 3, 2024. One of the videos shows the beginning of the demolition of the building and the other shows the end result. The international demolition of the Artsakh National Assembly building must have happened at the end of February because the videos were uploaded to the internet on March 3 and 4. After the spread of information about the demolition of the National Assembly building, the official video about the demolition of the building was shown on Baku television where the demolition works were interpreted as the destruction of symbols of separatism, which was initiated by Ilham Aliyev. This was all for today. Goodbye.